Hello and welcome guys, this, this is Skullgrim bringing you another premium quality desktop dungeons videos for your viewing pleasure. I am just gonna showcase how a vampire just demolishes vicious gauntlet. The sort of legendary difficulty, legendary difficult dungeon is the hardest map on the screen right here and I've completed it within the four in a breeze and I'll do it again. The veteran players know about the strategy already but there's also quite a few players that don't know what's going on so I'm gonna show you guys right now and try to explain what's happening here so get resistances get even more resistances by perfect patches which has the chance of giving 4 plus resistances when you level up it has some negative and some positive effects and one of those is resistances and that's what you're going for and you're going for the really big sword to pierce the physical resistance the boss at the end has physical resistance as well as magical resistance and you also want to find the plate mail so your movement speed is already slowed by this, so it's not going to be slowed anymore. So it just doesn't, it just gives you 20 damage reduction, essentially. And you prep the quest item to make it more likely that you find the plate now. It doesn't get any guards, so there's no reason to look into that and just damage, I guess. Right, there we go. And... Good stuff, yes. I'm just gonna convert, pick up and convert. And I'm gonna grab the gold, I guess. So I want to find the plate mill, and I want to find burner ass early. I don't really need to find the plate mill early. Um, I mean, it wouldn't hurt, but. There's no real importance in doing that. So, high level fight will be this guy. So, I'm gonna try and uh, pull this off somehow. Can I heal by hitting someone? No, not quite yet. If I convert this, then I will be able to do funky things. And I like fucking things, you know? I really do. Okay. And what do you know? He heals me when I attack him. That's kind of cool, isn't it? Especially when I can just let him heal by exploring and just having him around as a so called blood cow. Okay, so this could work uh, against the boss actually at the end. So might hang on to the idea of this, but only if I can afford both this and the plate which I think is easily possible. Okay, so a high level fight would be you again. I would like for that to work out of the box. Now, can I hit him twice if I let him heal up? I take 6 damage, that means I take 12 damage total, which means no, I can't do that. So let's just... Can I start another fight? Not really, I'm just kill him that sort of a waste of his health, but I kill him in one hit anyway now, so it doesn't really matter. All right. And suddenly he is easy. Easy peasy, Japanese. But I'm gonna drop my HP quite low and I don't have anyone to suck the life out of to heal up. So no. Not that interested. Yeah, I killed him one hit. That's what I expected. There's a ton of undeads and that means no life sucking for me and that sucks so much and there's no plate mail yet and that also sucks. 
Right, and right, I can't level up from him. I can kill the undeads after I haven't killed him and just level up. Okay, so there's, there's somewhat of an incentive to save them because of how the curse is taken off curses by killing popcorn, but apart from that, not really. He's dead. Well, he is. Then I killed these guys because I can kill both of them without getting some more light. He explored and he, he's also given me four resistances at some point. Could have been now, could have been the previous level. I didn't pay attention. Alright. Again, not feeling lucky with the RNG right here. Bunch of undeads. Bunch of undeads. Yeah, really unlucky. This sort of work, it drops my HP so much that I don't want to do it. So I do this and. Okay, let's, let's just go right ahead and. Because of the overheal, I didn't really drop a lot more, so I can just do this, I suppose, and we're good to go. Unless I find a play now here, I like to reset as a one because it's it's I mean this guy level seven meat man that's great that's it's marvelous you know but apart from that it's just really bad and you still want to spin them out I think we'll see what we'll see what I can pull pull off we'll have to see Level 5 as well, it's starting to look a lot better. It's about the legendary plate me though. Even more than this, what the hell. No one heals me. Everyone just dies. I leveled up and that wasn't part of the plan. And because of how the exploration on, on level up the patches gave it also heals the enemy because it counts as exploration not just as a sort of debuff thingy so that sucks this sucks and that sucks you know uh, this is not going to be used and there's no play mail and there's no play mail here either so this just leaves this place and there it is there it is my guys I was giving up hope there, and I wasted a ton of exploration, but I got it now, and it's given me 8 damage reduction, which is quite a lot, and as you guys can tell, it just makes a difference as far as healing goes, I just heal from everything, everywhere here, and I love it. I really do. There's not a lot, lots of them though, that's the problem. And one of the incentives not to prep the Wooden Big Sword is that you can hit these guys a lot more times, which makes them also help with the healing, but it makes the boss a lot harder. If you're really super lucky and get enough resistances, I think the boss actually ends up healing you, even though he's berserked. So, but then you're gonna need to be super lucky with patches, which is probably not gonna be in the cards for me. I think I can't actually afford War Bubble, but that means not being able to purchase. I think maybe I can even purchase the um, corrosion removal potion as well as that, depending on how much gold are in these piles like that. Let's just go right ahead and of this and overheal them all and then just kill the highest level enemy we have here unless I'm able to start this fight. Nah, I don't want to do that. 
and he has like uses which makes this a uh, chore and a bore and everything nasty. And gain some more damage. Patch is dead. And yeah, the start starting here in proper amounts. And oh wow, look at all those unknowns. That is super unfortunate. At best, kind of ridiculous. Kind of super ridiculous. Well, I'll try and make the most of out of this. Because the times you can get lucky enough for a plate mail to drop you sort of wanna make the most out of that. Not liking this. Okay, look, the enemies heal up. It's not you, it's the enemies, which is an even better resource than a black space, to be fair, because the enemy doesn't get to heal when you smack them, but when you reach for a black space, the enemies get to heal, so it's a pretty priceless resource. This. Yeah, he explored everything, which is annoying. And I'm pretty weak from this fight, so I'm gonna take a lot of hits, take a lot of corrosion, and that sucks because it counteracts the, the build with the physical resist I mean the resistances and the life steal. And the damage reduction, it makes it less powerful, so you wanna avoid it as you well, you know. Um as much as possible. This is what I'm looking for. Uh, so that means leveling up as high as possible before starting this fight. That's one way, and the other way is to fight him during level ups, so you get double the amount of uh, costs. Um, third possibility is simply using items or purchasing damage items, which I don't want to do. So far. This does seem like the most tempting sort of item to grab. Uh, potion shop, where are you? There you are. I'd like to have a look. I think it's 10 gold the cost to purchase the um, corrosion removal. I probably just need to do this now. Against my better judgment. Oh, that sucks so much. That's 6. Uh, 5. Corrosions, quite a lot. It's gonna make this fight harder as well. Oh yeah, well, of course there was one more. And I don't get any mana because I forgot to do this, because I'm a scrub. Go and then just finish his face. 26, that means it's got increased again. Lovely, I like that. I like the lot. That's 5 more resistances, that's 31. So let's see, I need to kill things now. So why not just kill the enemies? They're not gonna heal me anyway. Ever. Worthless, worthless creatures are what they are. Because I'm a vampire, I can, I can smack the, the serpents. No need to worry about poison. Smack everyone around. Without a single care in the world. Okay. What do we have here? Heal up. Yeah, I can smack a lot of enemies here while fighting these guys. And they are all solve the same difficulty. This is kind of harder, I think. So I'm not saving for last, so I level up. Either during the fight or before the fight, so I get stronger or something like that. Okay. 
Lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. I like this. Oh yeah, he weakened, so I probably want to take him out as last turn. And the metallic fireball, how much? 132 and the normal attack is 119, so it's actually stronger doing my physical attack, so I should do that instead. Even though he has physical assist. It seems so, because I pierce it. Yeah, that's right. Awesome, possum. Needle mosquito. Okay, that's gonna level me up back to that. So, I don't want to chug him either, but it's better than chugging him. So, there we go. I can finish him with the fireballs still. So. Good effect, stacking up a lot. Even though the weakness value is higher than corrosion, I still think I want to take the corrosion away because um, the synergy, I don't want it to break the potency of the synergy. I'm going to end up having a lot of damage reduction, lifesteal, and resistances for the boss to heal you. As long as you do that, you can just click away and he'll die. It doesn't matter if you deal low damage to him, then if you did that, deal damage and he doesn't, then it's pretty straightforward. You will win. Right? Right. And this is not any reason to do that. No. Is this it? Nope, there's more here, and I should probably. I can't hit a single one without killing it, so I should just. What do you think? Can I now do something here? Yes, I can. Lovely. Can't. If I could jump twice, that would work, but it doesn't do that much damage, so it's fine. Here we go. I was some more debuffs on my face. This is the big sub dungeon. Um, Gonna try and be efficient here and not waste too much because that is really, really valuable. And then he did that. <sighs> of course he did. That's the worst possible place I could have done that. Just let that be known. Oh, that was awful. That was awful. I should have thought about that before going ahead, but. <sighs> Okay, so this is the cursing enemy. I need to pay attention here. So I hit him once, I go out, I kill someone, and I continue doing this to save resources and whatnot. Why do you want to kill him? Yeah, there we go. Let me finish him off with this. Okay, so that's two out of three possible cursing thingies, right? That was the enemy. Have I met the dungeon or was it the, the scroll? I, I can't remember. It doesn't really matter. It's, I need to save popcorn. That's the bottom line anyway. Um, I can't heal from them anyway, so I, I just do not pay all the safest picks here. I think that makes sense somehow. That's cool. And there's our enemy. I want to have two of those because they deal a lot of damage to those guys. And smack the smack. Mother's mark. Continue. It's sort of cheesy and I feel sort of dirty by doing this, but. Gave me some more damage, I think. Maybe even my HP, I don't know. Still not satisfied. Is it here? No, is it here? Yes, it is. 
my HP drops to 100%, so even if I have overheal and I kill someone, it just drops downwards on level up. So if you find if you find a wicked guitar, that could sort of help you out here because it's a sort of level up your popcorn, which makes uh, um, more likely to survive you even when you're level 10 and doing a lot of damage. Just a hint. Okay. Um, yeah, I won't do this. I won't do that. Yeah. Yeah, that means that these guys get no experience. Is this gonna work? No, it's not. Use it twice. I need to heal up to get my. I need health. Health is over there. I need to do that because why not? And. Uh, Five is one five, not that mana burn, doesn't matter. I have the same resistances. HP is going to stop with you, and I should probably hit someone. Die. Die. I. Can I hit someone once? Yes, perfect. War crunches are conversion value only for me. Another of these. Don't like them. Well, not that bad when you actually have the lovely, lovely, really big sword versus them. Ah, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna make use of them all the time and spread out the damage. Don't just attack one, attack all of them so they heal equally much and you sort of can always hit someone and multiple. Is that enough? Yes, it is. Yes, it was. Oh, I forgot about that one. Yeah, that sucks. That really sucks. So I, I just hit them. So they are low HP and there's nothing to explore here to heal them up except for this. I need to eat away on this. So really big and important tips. Save the black space here because this dungeon is a fact, it's gonna come and it's gonna be annoying. This one and the bloodless enemies is always gonna be annoying. I'm gonna be blue this night because I think it's better just getting the life steal than the other possible think that it gives. Wow, Skullgum, you are so articulate. How do you even do it? I know, guys. I know. Huh. I'm just gonna repeat the process here. That's... Yeah, that's... I don't know if I fully heal now and I should hit him first and then hit that guy afterwards because I might hit the cap and not heal as much as I possibly can. Maybe. I am probably not aiming this because it is pretty high. Again, not enough nuts. Costing me a lot there. I can't even increase my damage either, so we two cards of this. It's 12 mana, and this is HP, so I'm just gonna go for it. I did. Okay, no way over there. Just have a peek. Looks like I can't pick up that, but this is fun. Like the sound of it. Alright, lovely. A I'm starting to be a bit too strong. A bit too much on the strong side. Um I would like someone to hit. 
Okay, that's two. To right, right. Let's do this, and then boom, boom, boom. Oh, boom. And now he deals sixty damage. It's quickly gonna drop. So I, I would like to to do more times, but. I mean, it's leveling up, I mean, it's killing these two guys first, and I don't have anyone to hit. Well, I do have this guy, and I could help me out with one of them. They are the same, so there's no priority. I don't want to prioritize over the other, that's what I meant. That's one, and I just need two experience, so I can actually just kill someone here instead, and that's. I think it gave me health. Prestige one. Who's a and yeah, I would like to do this, but I can't hit people now anymore. Or oh, presents a sort of problem. I'll do that sort of anyway. It's gonna end up doing like no significant damage to me. Like that. Mm -hmm. And that sucks. How about now? 40, it's not enough. <sighs> yeah, I might just. I have explored everything now, so now I can see how much I can actually pull off. And the cost for the corrosion removal is. How much is it? 8. That puts me at 14, and this cost 15. That means I can't afford it. I cannot afford both. Oh, it's a sort of dilemma. <clears throat> it's gonna stack up to the max, which is like plus 20 damage, is it? Per strike. Uh, and I'm gonna hit him quite a few times. Aren't I? I'll chug up all the fireballs that I face first and then use all my mana potions and then I convert this one and then I start attacking him with war gobbles that continue with the burn stash every single hit. That versus removing 6 damage. Well, if I deal 6 damage, then I can probably just go back and heal up. So I'll do more than 6 damage though. Because I haven't really gotten that much resistance as my patches. I've gotten like 39 before and I still had troubles with Horatio. Because I didn't use any other items apart from, from the, the uh, Plate Mail and the Dragon Shield alone. That sort of wasn't enough to, to pull it off. I can do this. Dead, and this is the curtain one. All right, so that's the last one then. Good, good, good to know. Get our boot all the way. We want to remove the cozy before killing the others now because they do a lot of damage. To do that, you should go up. Well, I should heal up. You shouldn't do anything. I'm not playing. And oh, hold on, hold on. He doesn't heal me yet, so that means I need to convert things to reach that.
Oh yeah, he doesn't really because um, oh, he was cursed. Why? No, he heals me. Okay, so base damage and um, death protection. So convert because you want to convert everything you possibly can. It says he heals me. That's kind of funny. That means I am able to fight these guys with his health, as well as the other ones I have earned. Right. Right. Um, not sure that's the right thing to do, but I did it anyway. Can I get enough? Yes, I could. Bothersome. Come on. No. Oh, I killed him. I didn't mean to kill him. My bad. <laughs> didn't mean to kill him. That sounds kind of brutal. This is super annoying. I can't just one shot them with the burner that doesn't hit them twice. And no. No, 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 no. Let me just throw that one. Some more black um, ball tools. Which is kind of fun. Get into that. Into that sort of thing, which I am. I most definitely am. Alright. I don't have an awful lot of faith in this as well. I'm completely honest with you guys. Well, in that inadequate, that sounds familiar. Alright, so this is one of the best dungeons for the Vampire because you get the Sensation Stone, which is 150 um, conversion points, and you also get another one when you kill this guy. And this guy is actually really easy for the Vampire, and he should be really hard for the other enemies. I mean, other classes tends to be a tough sort of enemy. But it's not for the vampire, it's not at all. But you kind of want to fight it early instead of late. So this guy, this, this dungeon with the two, two sensation zones, and it's going to help you out immensely. So, I'll show you what I mean. And this is just so sort of ridiculous. <laughs> I kind of want to do that at the same time as I don't because yeah that's exactly why I'm just going to finish him up like that and then pick up this and then hit this guy perfect it's still just 31 and that might not be enough I can use it twice, but do I want to? Uh, I can level up. I can't sort of kill this guy really easy. So let's do it. Let's just show them who's the man. Alright, we got that one as well, so it's not a concern at all. Okay, this is the one with uh, bl bloodless enemies, which I hate, so 
I let these guys heal up, and I have overhealed fully, and that's making myself ready. So, bloodless, I need to do a ton of damage because. Oh, look at that. Just oh, look at this. Nasty, nasty bastards is what they are. And I'm actually going to do this now and. Yep, that looks. And again, so close, but yet not really enough. That puts me low amounts of HP. Let these guys heal. Perfect. Again. Just for the sake of conversion, it was five experience, it's not gonna do anything. But that conversion point I might just make it enough for one more. Life steal. Stack. Oh I'm fully healed, I didn't mean to hit him. Shouldn't have done that. My bad. Probably more enemies here as well. Yep, burn. Quite a few actually. I did explode and that's good. I'll move these guys. I'll do the fight again. Kind of scared that I don't get to heal. Which I do. No problem. Oh, not enough full mana. Oh, that's gonna hurt unless I pick up that. Oh, that's. Interesting. Forgot about that one. I probably want to cast the fireballs. There we go. They're equally hard, all of these guys, so there's no priority here. Should have explored more, perhaps. Yeah, it's not gonna work. Yep, yep, yep. That oh, sucks. I'm just gonna chug that before exploring, I think. Then, can I hit him now? Alright, so I can kill him now? Nope. Alright, perfect. Perfect. And still, probably, I'm just gonna lose the damage from the fireball probably now, but who cares? I sort of care, but not that much. Do I need them to heal up? Yep, I need mana and I need them to heal up. Alright, that's enough for now. And again, it's not going be easy. I don't. Alright, that's. Some more. Just a smidge of healing, and there uh, we're good to go. Nice. Hmm. again, isn't it? You bastards. All right. This might be a super easy. Yep, I 
it's probably a super easy one because of how easy these guys are. Oh, lovely. Okay, teleport into that. This one. Pretty interesting. It doesn't poison me because I'm a vampire. Um, it's gonna be 10 more HP. But it's also worth a 20 conversion points, which is. If I convert it now, it's gonna be enough for this. I can also convert one potion, but it depends. If, if I want to use the potion for the boss, I normally use it just potions. And I should have, have made a choice whether to purchase this or to purchase the war barrel. I should have made a choice and purchased the item and had the benefit of that during all these fights. Um, I think I'm going to go for the war barrel actually. There we go. And if I look at the shop, then I see that I cannot purchase it. Nope. Just to make sure. I think I'm gonna stack burns on these guys, and that's the problem. Well, the burns are gonna be removed once I attack somebody else, so yeah, probably gonna be fine, I think. Imagine if this guy, he would, people have died. Alright, never mind, let's just, let's just go for it. And I'm thinking. Ah, this one is. Helps the overhealing, helps to make blood pools stronger. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat it. And just have a look. That's interesting. Let's see what else is not. It's also gonna stop their healing or decrease their healing by one. Not the end of the world, that, but something to keep in mind. And it might just make it so that they end up with 32 instead of um, 40 or 44, whatever the fuck. Pardon the language. Uh, they end up on. If that's the case, then it's. Pretty damn good for me. I would like that. They have two casts and they have two enemies. Two enemies. Is that all right? Uh, right, so let's let's <clears throat> think this through now. I can't afford a single thing, right? Can't afford anything. No, not even that one, which would have been great. Great, let's pick up potion though. I can pick up not a single potion even. All right, so like that. <clears throat> and I'm really close to doing this. I should do this, I think, before starting the fight. And I find that the mana potions are not going to be that valuable. So, a way that probably goes is have a look. This one is going to be picked up and used on the boss there. Now he has three clothes on him. Like, fine. Three more damage every single hit. That's lovely. I like that. And the blood pool, blood pool, blood pool. And even some exploration here. And that's about it, to be honest. Fine, I can live with that. So, I'm just picking up these, picking up. Oh shit, I didn't mean to do that. Well, what does that really mean? I can't even purchase anything else, so. It doesn't really mean anything, then. Yep, no it doesn't. Alright. So, um 
I want to leave the blood pools and I want to leave the black space and I want to start a fight and I want to throw the fireballs that go like this yes and then oh yeah can I level up or not if I can level up then I might make usage of that and convert patches after having level, leveled up because he might give me those lovely much needed resistances now right so I am 15 15 um, that means these three zombies for instance or it could be or was I completely off I might just have been completely off there yeah that's not going like I planned because all of these guys I want to be below the couch during the fight because of how resistances and healing and everything so it works but I won't be able to level up without killing one of them problem at some point they're gonna die and at that point I am going to level up simple as that and I will overheal as soon as I can here and that means that guy that guy and I would like them to heal up as well as me being overhealed as much as possible to I don't know and I have black space on the other dungeon as well I know that right here that might just be what I need I don't really know it's starting to look pretty good and I want to use this as, start, as soon as it started with his his uh, berserking because I want to avoid hitting him then all right so let's just start the madness that's about using the fireballs not so much for the damage but more for the sake of um, stacking burns so I wouldn't really be all that against exploring now and, and chugging more fireballs just to stack the burst axe before starting the fight he could heal up somewhat but it doesn't really matter all that much I guess and I could also hit him and I won't be taking I will be healing actually so I am most definitely going to do that or do I want to do it when he stops berserking? Is that black space more valuable then? Yeah, it might be because of the burn stacks. I'm going to do a whole lot of damage. And it's not like I maximize the burn stacks. That's the thing. Maximize them before he berserks. I can hit him so many times and it's probably gonna hit like the max yeah so it doesn't really matter I I don't know this anymore I could like when I level up I'm gonna get mana fill and that's gonna be two casts of this that's 80 damage minus the resistances but I rather just have the lifesteal so the last run I played was this guy I had 39 resistances as well as 10 lifesteal and I still lost this time around I have potions and I have war gravel and I have better blood cows around as well so that's gonna be a hopefully deciding factor here do I need all these things because I'm close to this and I don't know it's 80% of my HP to fill up with this but it's going to be 10 more HP every single hit or 10 less damage taken and that's easily stacking up quite much so right now everything is safe but when he starts his madness there he's enraged and he doesn't damage me. I 
think. Or does he? No? He doesn't. So... I don't know what's up. But... He... He died. <laughs> I find, I think I, last time I played, he damaged me and I had more resistances and equal amounts of damage reduction. I had removed all the corrosion and it killed me. I didn't have the really big sword, but that's not gonna make him deal more damage to me. I mean, less damage. Well, I'm not complaining, I won. And what's how you do the. Um, we should go as the vampire. Cheesy, but it works. And you get the almighty spoon. I could essentially have gone for the specialist here without problems at all, had I known how easy it would have been. Right, so thanks for watching, guys. Um, I'll have a look at my previous replay to see what was different, and I'll write it in the comment section. Right, thanks for watching. Bye.